hi and welcome back in this section we are going to learn about criteria pen and what operations can we achieve through this section so let's first un understand what basically the criteria pen is then we will uh, go one by one through all these tasks so what is cri criteria pen when you open your table in added mode you would have noticed that a set of buttons are also get enabled by the opening of this window okay as you close this uh, section the edit window of table all these buttons will either be disabled or be disappeared okay so and all these buttons are part of this qd designer toolbar right but as i have uncheck the security designer toolbar all buttons are hidden uh, but as soon as i'll open this added window they all will come back right if i close this window again they will go back right uh, right click bring them back but they are disabled as soon as you will open this window if this table in added mode they will get enabled okay so what is criteria pen there are different buttons over here if you uh, drag your if you scroll your mouse to on top of these buttons you will notice that this is show sql pen whatever sql is written behind your uh, table behind the query which is fetching the record is this this is our basically this is our criteria pen that we are going to learn um this is criteria pen that we are going to learn in this session and to execute the query we hit this button execute sql right so let's come on to on our first task of hide id column to hide this id column uh, you just need to uncheck the output checkbox in front of this column or any column that you want to hide in this case we want to hide our identity column so i have unchecked it this doesn't mean that this column will be deleted no this column will not be deleted from your table but it only will be hidden from this area okay now hit the execute sql button and it's disappear okay if you want to hide any other column you just uh, uncheck the output checkbox hit sql okay only one uh, person name is uh, ticked here so it's there okay let's bring them back and come on to the next task so we are done with the first task the second task is to change heading of person name to full name okay we just need to change the heading not the physical name of this column to, let me hit sql first okay to change the heading name we use alias okay uh, this alias uh, works just like the heading full name and hit execute sql okay but physically its name will remain same you can um, check it by opening your design view there will be no change in your table structure it will remain same as it is okay this is just for display over here it's only the displayed heading okay the third task is to apply sorting by person name in ascending order this is very easy through criteria pen uh, SQL Server's um, GUI has made, made our life really really very easy uh, to apply sorting just come in front of uh, any row any column in which you want to apply the sorting in this case we want to apply sorting on person name select ascending from here okay and hit execute SQL you notice all these records have uh, come in ascending order now apply secondary sorting by address in descending order okay first the records should be sorted with person name in ascending but if two names are equal then the sorting should be applied on address 
column but in descending way okay let's do that come in address it should be descending but its number is 2 the sort order number is first priority will be given to person name second priority will be given to address hit execute sql so you see house comes first descending all right m com in uh, abc you know m comes first and u comes later so that but the sorting is in descending way so here u is coming first house is coming first and home is down okay we have achieved this task as well only show those persons who live in town now we have to filter our criteria filter works over here who lives in town lives in town equal to town okay only two persons are there who live in town so this is very easy in sql server to apply sorting um, to apply the heading names and to uh, filter the records if you have thousands of records you can easily filter your rows that you want to appear in your results here okay so you can copy them or whatever you want to do you can do them easily do with them easily okay so uh, these were our tasks thank you very much i hope you have learned all these tricks uh thank you